Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about the mechanism of smooth muscle relaxation. How these muscles create a mechanism to inhibit contraction or sometimes these muscles delay the contraction then causing the relaxation. So let's find out how this occurs. For contracting or relaxing a muscle there are certain endogenous molecules that are generated by our body to regulate the process and for relaxation there are certain molecules like there is a nitric oxide that acts as a signaling molecule here and this nitric oxide being an endogenous molecule produced by our endothelial cells and then this nitric oxide produced by endothelial cells jumps into smooth muscle cells and here it causes the relaxation of smooth muscles first of all let's see the structure of blood vessels so that we know how this nitric oxide produced by endothelial cells jumps into smooth muscles for relaxation let's see the structure first and then we will jump onto the detailed part of this mechanism in the structure of blood vessel we see there are three types of cells that are arranged in three layers and the first layer that's the innermost layer is endothelium that's made up of endothelial cells and this layer is also called tunica enzyma then we have the middle layer that's called tunica media and this layer contains the smooth muscle cells so smooth muscle is all together present in tunica media and then we have the last layer that's tunica adventitia that is the external layer is also called a tunica externa sometimes and it's composed of collagen and if we see in the structure it is the endothelium layer that's the tunica intima in which the nitric oxide is made that's being made by endothelial cells of endothelium layer so this nitric oxide made in endothelium layer gets into the tunica media that is the smooth muscle layer by simple diffusion and here it relaxes the muscles. Now let's see in detail how this mechanism occurs. In order to get the muscle relaxed we have the activated nerve terminal first which has received a stimulus to relax muscles and in order to do so it secretes neurotransmitter which is acetylcholine here and on the other hand we have endothelial cell comprising of GPCR which is G protein coupler receptor and this receptor will receive the acetylcholine molecules and creates a conformational change in the receptor causing activation of G protein which ultimately will start a cascade of signals and in the cascade of signals we see the first component to be activated is PLC that is phospholipase C PLC selectively catalyzes the hydrolysis of phospholipid, phosphatidylinestol, O5 bisphosphate, that's PIP2, and releases inositol 145 triphosphate, that's IP3, and diacylglycerol, that is DAG. That means PIP2 gets catalyzed into IP3 and DAG. And this DAG remains with the cell membrane, while as this IP3 is a soluble form in cytoplasm. The IP3 is a secondary messenger which transports towards the IP3 receptors on smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And here this IP3 molecule stimulates the opening of calcium ion channels. And in this way calcium ions are released from endoplasmic reticulum. And in the endothelial cell we have a protein called CAD modulin which gets activated by calcium ions. That's why it's called calcium modulated protein because it gets activated by calcium ions only and this CAD modulin has the property to activate nitric oxide synthase and in turn this synthase synthesizes the nitric oxide from arginine in endothelial cell this all happens within the endothelial cell the nitric oxide producer is also known as endothelium derived relaxing factor and it's one of the few gaseous signaling molecules involved in biological processes the nitric oxide produced by endothelial cells gets diffused across the membrane from endothelial cell towards the smooth muscle cell. And here in the smooth muscle cell, this nitric oxide combines with gonanyl cyclase. It actually combines with the heme group of gonanyl cyclase and activates the enzyme. And this cyclase enzyme converts the GTP form into the cyclic GMP form. The cyclic GMP then stimulates CGMP dependent protein kinase, which in turn activates the phosphatase enzyme that's MLCK, myosin light chain phosphatase. And this MLCK enzyme dephosphorylates the myosin light chain, thereby inhibits the contraction, 
which keeps the smooth muscle relaxed. This is all about the mechanism of smooth muscle contraction, the role of nitric oxide in it. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.